What's up guys? Welcome to Wildlife's Outdoor Cooking. Today is pretty simple, just out on the beach, and we are gonna make some gourmet survival food. But first we need a fire, so let's get that going. All right, fire's lit. Second thing we gotta do, we gotta get some water on the boil and then I'll show you what we're cooking. All right, let's get, I'm gonna make sure this thing's burning nice and hot. There we go. I don't want, put this right over that. Let's make sure that there's no grains of sand in there. Sometimes the wind can blow sand into stuff quite easily when you're on the beach. All right guys, that is our main ingredient today. A whole lobster, this guy is still alive. Uh, so first things first, we need to dispatch him as quickly and as humanely as possible. I'll show you how to do that, it's pretty simple. All right, so here's our lobster right here. You guys can see the connection between these two plates right here and this cross line, this little point here that comes down right between his eyes. You're gonna cut straight through that. One quick movement, you're gonna find the cross line right here, go straight down. Straight in. He's dispatched. Any movement you see, like his legs over here unfurling, that's all just going to be little bits of uh, nerve endings shooting off to these uh, automated responses. But this is a dead animal now. Quick, as humane as possible. Lobster in the pot. Woo! That is hot water. Guys, while that is boiling, we are going to prepare this guy right here. These are chunks of kingfish. These were given to us uh, by a friend of my wife's who works at the Houston Zoo. No, the fish is not from the zoo. They caught it. Perfect. Look at that. Look at those little nuggets. Now, these are white fish. Um, a kingfish is a type of mackerel, and the flesh is white, which means it's going to cook fairly quickly. So here's what we want to do. We want to get a little bit of this smoked, smoked salt. We're going to put that on there. There we go. I like to be generous with seasonings, guys. I've never used this before, but this is Pacific Seafood Rub. And the ingredients are sea salt, paprika, crushed red pepper, chili pepper, oregano, basil, and coriander. And just sprinkle, whoop, that's enough right there. We'll just roll it around now in that. That's quite a bit, but I think that'll work out really well. Of course, we got a lemon here, so let's cut that. By the way, guys, a, a trick, if you roll the lemon back and forth like this before you cut it, it's a little bit easier to get the juices out of. But what we're gonna do today is I'm actually gonna cook these in a banana leaf. Now we got these earlier. There we go, squeeze some of that lemon juice in there. We'll lay them like this, close the end, lay one over the other. There we go, just like that. I want these even. I don't want them in a big bunch. I want them to cook evenly. Just like that, bunch up the ends. Let's get a little bit of garlic. Just go with one clove of garlic to start. There we go. That works quite nice. Place our banana leaf inside. Listen to it go. Gorgeous sounds. All right, I think our lobster is just about done. Yes, look at that gorgeous red color. Let's put them right here. That is absolutely beautiful. There we go, look at that now. Gorgeous red coloration, beautiful beautiful cook on this lobster, but we got another step to go. And let's fold this back up and gently flip it over. Now, I, if you notice I laid towards my own hand, you always want to lay away. That's my mistake. 
Oh, guys, I wish you had smell-o-vision. This smells so good. We've got our butter. We put our garlic together. We're just smashing this up. You'll notice it's got kind of a, a pasty look to it. It's a little bit below room temperature, so it's still extremely soft, but it's, uh, it's not frozen. We're gonna cut this lobster straight in half. There we go. Since we've already made an incision on the head, let's continue with it. Straight down the middle. That's why it's important to have a very sharp knife. Knives, I have multiple knives. I just brought the one today. There we go, perfect. Perfect cook on that. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. So we have half a lobster here. Now here's what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna get the uh, little bits of his internals out right there, not all of it just the intestinal lining. And here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna take this butter, and I'm gonna coat the outer lining of the lobster with this butter. I'm gonna let it sit there. Now, ideally, with this method, what you'd wanna do is stick it back in the refrigerator, let that butter harden up a little bit. Now, I could try to use the ice chest, but honestly, uh, it probably doesn't have the temperature required to make that successful. This lobster is cooked most of the way through. Let's take the claws off and do something separate with those. There we go. Let's actually have a go at these claws here. Incredibly powerful, these animals. And look, I actually cracked this one where you can actually see the configuration of the meat in the interior. So we'll pull this one out, see if we can get this out gently. There it is. So you can see the meat and the shape of the claw following suit. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. That looks beautiful and I can't wait to eat it. All right guys, this is looking really good. Let's go ahead and get this off. Bana banana leaf will hold all that together and we'll just put it on our plate here. All right, so lobster halves going in the pan, butter side down. There we go. That's, oh my God, if you could smell that right now. All right guys, let's get these out of the pan. These are spatula here, carefully transition our lobster over to our plate and that does look amazing. There's one. All of our fish, let's get the other one now. That looks so good. And then these little bits here that have been just kind of sizzling in hot butter. How is that? So we've got our delicious little mackerel nuggets here, guys. Beautiful, and we've got our lobsters, our lobster, a half of each, a half of each cooked brilliantly, and here's the claw, that big chunky meat from the claw. Look at that, that's bigger, that's about as big as the, the muscle in the palm of my hand for my thumb. And I'm, you know, a lot bigger than that lobster. It shows you the kind of power they have. All right, let's have a go. Gorgeous lobster claw just cooked in garlic and butter. Oh my God, that is heavenly. <laughs> I don't ever get to eat like this. Um, you know, just normally I don't go and buy lobster, but for something like this, this is a treat and it tastes absolutely incredible. So good. So here's our, our lobster tail. Look at, my wife loves the little things, the little animals, especially crustaceans, but I love to eat them. That looks absolutely incredible. Again guys, just five minutes in, in the boiling water and then about a minute on the on the pan in butter and garlic very simple let's have a go this is absolutely insane 
That is delicious. Just squeeze a bit of lemon juice on that. There we go, not too much. I think seafoods should be relatively simple. You can cook a lot of things extravagantly, but I think lobster, you know, crabs, other types of crustaceans, shrimp, um, and then fish as well. Really, the simpler it's done, the better. That is so good. Here is our, uh, our kingfish that was wrapped and cooked in a banana leaf here. This one looks absolutely beautiful. You guys can see the sear on that. It looks really good. It's, I mean, not gourmet, I'm just a beginner, but that is about as good as I'm gonna do for a while. That is so good. Let's have a go with a bit more lemon here. Just squeeze this right over the top here. Look at that. Really, really delicious. That is something special. That is so special. Man, that is good. There's a lot of flavor in that, in the fish, the seasoning. Um, I can taste the flavor of the banana leaf that's in there. I've had stuff cooked and smoked in banana leaves before. So I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with what that flavor tastes like and I, it's in there. Really, really nice when you can detect the individual flavors from the ingredients in your food. The last thing you want is for everything to taste like one solid ingredient. And you want to have hints of different flavors and I'm, I'm getting that in here. I'm really pleased with that. You guys can see as it breaks apart, you'll notice it breaks apart in these layers. You see how flaky that is? That's what I want when I'm eating a white fleshed fish, that flakiness. As good as that kingfish is, guys, this lobster, this lobster is stealing the show. There we go, look at that deliciousness right there. It's so messy, but there's really no other way to eat lobster. Lobster actually used to be really cheap. They fed it to prisoners. It was readily available. It was considered, you know, a bottom feeder. They didn't think it had a whole lot of commercial value, so they said, you know what, we'll use it in the prison systems. Um, we don't really want to sell it. And then people realized, wow, this, this stuff is really good. <laughs> this is like the best thing there is. And then they're like, okay, since it's delicious, no more for the prisoners. Now let's sell it for truckloads of money. Well, I reckon that'll just about do it for us today, guys. Pretty simple. Uh, simple ingredients, lobster and fish. You don't want to overcomplicate them. Again, I'm not a professional chef. I'm not even close. But there's basic principles that you can follow that will make your cooking better. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe, hit that little bell right down there below the right hand corner of the frame. That way when I upload a video, you get the notifications straight away. If you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. If you have other ideas, I'm an open book and I'm willing to learn, let me know down below. If you see any areas where I can improve, remember, I'm just a beginner chef, I'm not gonna pretend I'm anything else. Please let me know, I'd love to learn from you. Be sure to head over to my other channel, Wildlife. I'll put a link to that channel in the description of this video. It's a really great fishing channel that I've had for a couple of years. I think you'll really enjoy that one too. More is coming, stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.